In this video, we're going to focus on triangles. A triangle is basically a three-sided figure. Now, there are different types of triangles. You can classify them by their angles. So this particular triangle is known as an acute triangle. All three angles are acute angles. An acute angle is basically an angle that is less than 90. The next type of triangle that you need to be familiar with is the right triangle. The right triangle contains one angle that is equal to 90 degrees. It's the angle represented by the blue box. Now the third type of triangle that can be classified by angles is the obtuse triangle. In an obtuse triangle, one of the angles is greater than 90. So make sure you can classify angles based on, I mean triangles based on angles. Now sometimes you can classify triangles based on their sides. The first triangle we're going to talk about is the scaling triangle. This triangle has no congruent sides. All three sides are just different. The next triangle is the isosceles triangle. In the isosceles triangle, two sides are congruent to each other. The next one that you need to be familiar with is the equilateral triangle. All three sides are congruent. An equilateral triangle is also known as an equal angular triangle because all angles are congruent as well. Whenever the sides are congruent, the angles opposite to those sides are equal to each other as well. So in an equilateral or equiangular triangle, all angles are 90, I mean not 90, but all angles are 60 degrees, and all sides are congruent to each other. Now, what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to give you a few triangles and I want you to classify them based on what you just learned. Feel free to pause the video if you want to. So the first triangle on the upper left side, what is it called? So notice that all three sides are different. So therefore, this triangle is known as a scaling triangle. Now what about the second one in the upper right? Notice that all angles are less than 90. So therefore, this is called an acute triangle. The next one on the lower left, we have a 90 degree angle. So this is a right triangle. Also, because these two angles are congruent, the sides that are opposite to those angles are also congruent. So this is also an isosceles triangle. So collectively, it's called an isosceles right triangle. The next one, we have two congruent sides. So that is just a regular isosceles triangle. And here we have an obtuse angle. So therefore, that is called an obtuse triangle. So make sure you're familiar with these terms because you're going to see it uh, throughout pre-algebra or even geometry, depending on what course you're taking. Now, the next thing that you need to know is that all three angles of a triangle must add up to 180. So let's say this is angle X, Y, and angle Z. So X plus Y plus Z has to add up to 180 degrees. So knowing that, let's say if you have this triangle, and this is 54 degrees, and this is 38 degrees, and we'll call this x. What is the value of x in this problem? So you know that the three angles, 54, 38, and the third angle, which is x, they have to add up to 180. 
So now you could find the value of x. So we just got to do some math at this point. 54 plus 38, that's 92. So 92 plus x equals 180. To find the value of x, we need to subtract both sides by 92. So x is going to be 180 minus 92, which is 88. So sometimes you may need to find the missing angle. And that's one way in which you can do so. Here's another example. Let's say this is angle A, B, and C. Angle A is 35 degrees. Angle B is 4x. And angle C is 3x plus 7. Find the value of angle B. Feel free to pause the video and work on that problem. So let's write an equation. We know that the three angles has to add up to 180. So angle A, which is 35, plus angle B, which is 4x, plus angle C, which is 3x plus 7, all of that has to add up to 180. So let's combine like terms. 4x and 3x, they add to 7x. 35 plus 7 is 42. So 7x plus 42 adds up to 180. Now let's subtract both sides by 42. 180 minus 42 is 138. So 7x is equal to 138. If we divide both sides by 7, x is about 19.7. Now that's the value of x. Our goal is to find the value of angle B. Angle B is equal to 4x. So we got to multiply 19.7 by 4. It's really 19.71 for those of you who want to get a more accurate answer. So if you multiply 19.71 by 4, you should get 78.84. So that's the value of angle B. Now, if you want to find angle C, simply plug it in to 3x plus 7. So angle C is going to be 3x plus 7, but let's replace x with 19.71. 3 times 19.71 is 59.13. And then if you add 7 to it, you're going to get this angle, 66.13 degrees. So that's the value of angle C. Let's try a word problem. The angles in a triangle are in a ratio 4 to 5 to 11. Find the measure of all three angles. So let's say this is angle A, B, and C. So one of the angles has to be 4x, the other has to be 5, and another has to be 11x because they're in the ratio 4 to 5 to 11. And now all we got to do is find the values of a, b, and c. So these three angles, 4x, 5x, and 11x, has to add up to 180. 5 plus 11 is 16. 16 plus 4 is 20. So these three add up to 20x. So now we need to divide both sides by 20 in order to find the value of x. So what's 180 divided by 20? Well, at first, we can cancel a 0. So it's equivalent to 18 divided by 2, which is 9. So x is equal to 9. Now that we have the value of x, we could find the measure of all three angles. So let's start with angle A. So angle A is equal to 4x. And x, as we know, is 9. So 4 times 9 is 36. So angle A is 36 degrees. Now let's move on to angle B. By the way, this figure is not drawn to scale. Angle B is 5x. So this is going to be 5 times 9, which is 45 degrees. Angle C, that's equal to 11x. So this is going to be 11 times 9 which is 99 degrees. 
Now let's add up the three angles. If you add 36, 45, and 99, this will give you 180 degrees. So keep in mind, all three angles of a triangle must add up to 180. That's a rule. It, it always works that way. And so now you have a basic introduction into angles and triangles. So uh, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. And if you want to find more videos, just go to my channel, check out the different playlists that you'll see there. I got videos on algebra, geometry, trig, physics, chemistry, uh, calculus, and a bunch of stuff. So feel free to take a look at that and uh, have a good day.